Hello everybody and welcome to my seventh Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you use brush presets uh, and I don't want to get too hung up on brush presets at the moment uh, and I don't want you to I want you to practice with them if you can but if you oh, the main concepts I want to get across in the tutorial is just how you set up brush presets I don't want to create a masterwork I don't want to uh, tell you how to do all the different brush presets in the world because at the end of the day you're going to create your own and um, you're going to have your own kind of flair to them. So I'm just going to show you. So if we go onto our brush, uh, and you'll have already noticed in our drop down with our size and our hardness that we've got all of these different kind of brush presets in here already as standard in Photoshop. And if you start to use these with uh, some color, so let's just put a black. Uh, and you'll see that say that you've got some textured ones, you've got some that are more like gives you more of a brush stroke, uh, and there's re it's really quite a few different ones you can use. Uh, and we've got this one here that creates a nice little grassy meadow very quickly. Make it a bit bigger, and you can have some bigger ones. Uh, and they're all very useful uh, for various different things. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of them because those you can get used to very quickly. Uh, you just need to kind of play around with them. So I want to show you how to create your own. So in here, I've just got this image that I've set up. Uh, and generally they're very abstract. So this is just kind of random crisscross lines. Uh, and some bit of smudging and uh, soft brushing around uh, and I just want to save this as one of my brushes up here so in order to do this I'm just going to go to edit and then define brush preset uh, I'm going to call it sample brush 6 uh, and it's going to create it as a brush for me uh, and if I go on my drop down so I click on my brush tool and then in my brush drop down you'll see here uh, that I've got this one available to select now. And if I go back into this drawing and I just print it like that, it's going to come up with the image that I've just created. It isn't amazingly useful at the moment, but if I move it down a bit and I start to draw with it, you see it kind of creates me more of a rough edge than your kind of traditional brush. Makes it a little bit leaky. Uh, and just looks slightly more textured than your normal brush. Uh, and what I'm going to use this for uh, is because it kind of looks a little bit cloudy. So if I make all of the background blue, um, and then make, just going to use a small brush with a low opacity and a low flow. I'm just going to start to switch to white. I'm going to start to draw cloud shapes. And you see that it gives it that nice soft edge that you will kind of, not quite a soft edge that you want on a cloud, but because they always have a little bit of a rough outline to them. But it gives you more textured look. Let's just make it a bit of a double cloud by adding some more over there. And there we go. So like I said, I wasn't looking for something amazing. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to create your preset. So in your in your image that has your preset, just go to edit and then define brush preset. And then it will become available forever in your Photoshop here. Uh, if you want to remove one, just right click on it and delete it. If you've created one that you don't actually like, which is the case for me here. I've forgotten to delete those two because they are horrible. Um, that's how you use your presets. In the later tutorials, I'm going to show you how to do specific ones. So we'll do one that actually looks good for clouds. We'll do one that's good for like rust and hair and things like that. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use the different brush blending modes.